our next session will be we will be talking about the premolars the upper premolars the radiography of uh, uh, endodontic radiography for the upper premolars uh, the upper molars and the premolars actually there is a the problem of the curvature of the of the uh, palate and you know that uh, when the pellet uh, the pellets uh, they could either be uh, wide as a case like this uh, this mannequin or it could be narrow or v-shaped uh, so there is no specific or uniform shape that can be applied to all shapes of the pellets but how, however we need to rethink about the positioning or understand what's the idea of uh, positioning of the uh, uh, sensors uh, when we are doing a radiograph for the premolars. First of all, anything air, uh, uh, or any tooth that is located posterior to the canine, instead of placing the uh, sensor vertically, you will place it in a horizontal direction. This is because the roots of the posterior teeth are shorter and this is more convenient for the patient. Uh, however, sometimes it is possible uh, that uh, we place the sensor vertically uh, if we feel that this is comfortable for the patient and if we don't want to miss the uh, apex of the tooth. What this means is that sometimes when they place the, film, uh, the sensor in a horizontal direction, we might we might, uh, if the tooth is, l is long, we might miss the apex of the <coughs> of the tooth. However, let's 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 uh, uh, revise the scenario uh, that is followed in the uh, uh, in these conditions. Okay, so what we need to do is that ideally, now we're using here the uh, angle bisecting technique. You're going to place the sensor so that it will be uh, in this direction. In this relationship okay that the sensor should be extending uh, less than uh, or within two millimeters what happens is that the sensor goes this way or it will be pushed by the pellet uh, uh, so that it slides down and then you will lose the apex now uh, of course this this should be extending outside the oral cavity the cable now what to do in this case uh, again, the, uh, the, the, the idea is to uh, place a cutter roll, but let's uh, understand uh, what's going on. I'll just flip this over so that you will have an idea of what's, what's going on. The, the trick here is that don't stick or do not bring the sensor so close to the tooth. Try to take it out to the midline. Okay? Try to take it out or in t uh, towards the midline uh, of the of the pellet, and then you are going to place the cutter roll in this direction. Okay. This is the idea. The idea here is that instead of giving the uh, uh, cone. Uh, if, if, if you can't do this, it's okay. And then you will direct the beam perpendicular on the tooth, perpendicular on the sensor, and then you will direct it perpendicular on the uh, angle bisector. But this is this is not always the case because of the presence of the uh, of the um, clamp. My advice here is that you. Place a cutter roll here, okay, and then you extend the uh, sensor as much as it can go in a towards the midline. See the the uh, the relationship now. The uh, uh, the how much is extending from the, uh, uh, the this of the sensor extending from the uh, below the tooth. Now here you will definitely catch the apex. Plus that you don't have this steep ankle, just like we were talking about the anterior teeth. You can even make it more correct <coughs> by placing 
the cutter roll in between the clamp and the sensor this way got it so instead of incline, inclination uh, or uh, inclining the sensor uh, uh, giving it an angle between the tooth and the sensor okay what I do is that I place a cutter roll here see now the 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 uh, sensor is more parallel with the tooth what you do instead of giving this uh, maneuver or using this maneuver one two and the old technique you will simply direct your beam a plus 10 so that it will be perpendicular on both the uh, tooth and the sensor you will get a beautiful image here i will repeat again avoid using this okay simply place a cutter roll in between the uh, uh, clamp excuse me place a cutter roll between the clamp and the sensor this way Okay, and then direct one, two, and, and midway. This is an angle of plus 10. So by so doing, again, you will guarantee three things. One, better image, because there is no more inc uh, uh, inclination of the uh, uh, sensor. Two, less irritation for the patient. Three, uh, uh, capturing the uh, apex because you will have almost only two millimeters extending uh, uh, below the um, uh, occlusal surface. You can use this also even in the not during endodontics. Uh, if let's say you're, you're working, let me remove this clamp. If you're working on a premolar, and the usual way we used to do it as such, right? Now here you don't need to do this, only you can place the against the crown of the tooth, and then this way. Whether you're working on the molars or on the premolars, the idea is the same. Now let's demonstrate on the molars. Let us choose whether you're using a wing, wing type uh, clamp, or the wingless type. It's the same. The, the, the idea is the same. Uh, it's that uh, arch of the, uh, uh, of the clamp that actually uh, prevents the... Um, um, uh, uh, the uh, placement of the uh, sensor against the film. So I'm, I'm working on a molar tooth. Let's say I'm working on this upper seven. Okay. So you place the clamp over here. And then what you will do is that you directly now, we don't need to go into this. I'll place the cutter roll and then I will place the cutter roll is placed against the clamp. Of course, this is not the how we do it on the, uh, I mean, uh, we tilt the patient, but this is just for the, it will be uh, uh, viewed on the camera. See? I'll just use it this way. You can even go down see how close it is to the midline and the older technique we used to do this way but here you're going to bring the uh, uh, sensor closer to the midline and then when, go when you're going to direct the beam you will just give it a plus five 
and you will uh, you will get a better image plus that you will ha you will uh, 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 minimize the distortion this is the how the x-ray if you want to uh, see like a slope technique then you are going to just bring an angle of uh, you go medially if you're go working on the premolars for instance this is the correct angulation if you want to separate the two roots the, the idea is the same idea is the same you place the cutter roll over here and then you direct the beam you will come with a mesial angulation and you will have the uh, two roots separated okay but the vertical angulation is the same